I'm very pleased to welcome Marianne Tresco, who is Director General for Sweden's Postal and Telecom Agency. First of all, Marianne, I just want to start with what looks like it's preoccupying many people at the moment. That's the financial crisis. And some people are suggesting that this is a chance for a sort of Marshall Plan, investment in ICTs. However, telecoms perhaps should be a little cautious. It wasn't, not, uh, it wasn't very long ago that there was a dot-com crash. Do you believe that telecoms should learn the lessons of the past and be a little cautious? I think you should always uh, learn a lesson from the past, and uh, uh, especially the, the uh, dot-com crisis that we had. And I think we are learning. Uh, there is a lot of discussion in Sweden when it comes to the financial crisis d due to the, the sector of electronic communication. And uh, what we can see in Sweden so far, the, te the electronic communication, the operators, uh, uh, and telecoms are not suffering that much in comparison to, to, to other uh, companies. Sweden has extremely developed telecommunications. Something like 76% of people have inter regularly use the internet. How much of this is uh, a function of Sweden's geography and sometimes quite harsh climate? Uh, there are many factors that, that it has been, been uh, gone together. I think uh, the the former government and the government we have today, uh, they are all very eager that you have communication, communication for all. And there you are uh, in, when it comes to the telecommunication for everybody. And when the government say uh, for everybody, they mean everybody. So they have also, before, if, during a five-year uh, period, put a lot of money for those who are not able uh, to, to uh, have this uh, uh, possibility to, for telecommunication. Looking more widely at, at Europe, are you happy with the regulatory structure in the rest of Europe? In that telecoms are extremely powerful companies and we all, as you've just mentioned in Sweden, rely on the internet and mobile telephony an incredible amount. And yet it seems that the, the regulators have been largely toothless to prevent extortionate roaming charges from telecoms companies. Do you think that they need to have more power to act more quickly against telecoms? I think the role, the role of a regulator is to facilitate the market. The market is the, the, the driver of what is com, coming up. And, and the competition and the market uh, which develops the, the market should uh, get the prices right. And uh, since we liberalized the telecom market in 92 already, uh, this has been a long struggle uh, in view of the incumbent. But we are now on the right side. I would say that the competition is there. We have taken decisions uh, last month concerning the GSM operator so that they can develop new, uh, new technology. So we will have five 3G operators and we are nine million people. That is a very good uh, uh, competition. But that's good, yeah, that, that's fine if competition Which is means that the, the prices will go down even for it. But that's fine if the, if the uh, if competition is working, but Vivian Redding, the European Communications Commissioner, had to step in and pull down roaming charges. Uh, I mean, that is a regulatory measure. Um, um, but we had to wait a long time for that. We were rather um, reluctant for stepping in and regulate. We, we, we were hoping very much that the operators themselves should take a step forward when it came to that, uh, which didn't happen. So uh, what uh, uh, the Commission already also says is this is temporarily. She wants to see the uh, effect of that. Uh, she w wants to, to see it happen now. But then, after a while, few years, I guess, and the market will uh, arrange it themselves. Okay, now uh, there is perhaps a reason why the Pirate Bay came from Sweden, because uh, you've already mentioned that uh, you've got fantastic internet access, yeah. but we have had this court case where four co-founder members of uh, the Pirate Bay have been sentenced, have been given uh, jail sentences. Yeah. Are you concerned that this is going to send a message? If you ask me personally, uh, I would say that we are speaking about uh, generations. The old generation with the old legal system and the wish to have, it, uh, to, to have it like that. And then you have the younger generation, which means that you must find the tools to have, have it right. 
but it is a very important step that they were sentenced and they were fined and there was a high level of the fine.